this to win the match. Final kick of the game. Almada. Tiago Almada wins the game for Atlanta United at the death. Welcome in to AT&T's countdown to kickoff and what an opening weekend in Major League Soccer for your five stripes. Atlanta United comes from behind to beat the San Jose Earthquakes. Of course, we have to start with Tiago Almada's evening because it was an incredible performance all over the pitch. Let's get into the goals a little bit deeper here though. We've got to give Brooks Lennon a ton of credit for how he sold this set piece opportunity. Tiago Almada took up a space about 22 yards out or so. Lennon saw him, but didn't give it away. No one came out to pick up Almada. Lennon delivers the ball perfectly. What a first touch from Tiago to set himself up. And the hit, look at the spin on the ball, no chance for any goalkeeper to get that one off the underside of the bar and the electricity in the bins after that equalizer. And we gotta go back to Brooks Lennon again on this too. Lennon makes a run as San Jose has their wall in place. And you see the earthquakes try to figure out how to defend this because the player has to come away from the wall. They're trying to reconfigure things. Atlanta United sets up a wall in front of San Jose's wall. Tiago Almada hits a world-class free kick that I don't know if there were any distractions that, that could have changed it. What a hit from Almada once again. Danielle gets a hand to it can't keep it out, and it is a moment that Five Stripes fans will remember forever. The greatest comeback in Atlanta United history. Now, prior to Tiago Almada's heroics late, my man of the match at that stage was Franco Ibarra. The penalty kick that Atlanta United earned in the first half, it's Ibarra who starts that whole sequence with a one tackle, and then a great through ball to the overlapping Andrew Gutman. It was a very strong overall performance from Franco Ibarra leading the Atlanta United midfield. Another element of this season opening win was the return to Major League Soccer play for Captain Brad Gazan and center back Miles Robinson. Their leadership was a vital piece of this win for Atlanta United. While week one saw Atlanta United play the role of heartbreakers for the San Jose Earthquakes, it was Toronto who was on the other side of that relationship. Two late goals from Christian Benteke and Ted Coup Di Pietro led DC United to a win coming from behind to beat Toronto at Audi Field. Losing the match wasn't the only loss of the night for Toronto. Lorenzo Insigne, the talented Italian winger, had to leave the match in the 34th minute with an injury. The availability of Insigne will play a role in the squad selection and the tactics for Toronto this weekend. Now, in the last couple years, there have been some interesting incidents between these two teams. We can go back to 2021, where there were multiple red cards, altercations that continued off the field, and a dramatic conclusion to that one led by Marcelino Moreno with a late goal that sealed the win for Atlanta United. Broadcast plans for Saturday, 7 p.m. is when the Five Stripes countdown starts on 92.9 The Game and on the Odyssey and Atlanta United apps. You can listen to Mike Conti and me as we get ready for the broadcast, which will kick off just after 7.30. You can also listen to our match commentary on the MLS season pass by choosing the home team English radio option. In Spanish, La Mejor has the match for you on radio, and you can listen in Spanish on MLS Season Pass by simply choosing the language from the drop-down menu. We'll be back next week with the next AT&T countdown to kickoff ahead of Atlanta United's trip up I-85 to face Charlotte FC.